upright <laughs> because it has felt like winter to them for quite some time. Uh, here's the one thing technologically that really has not changed a whole heck of a lot in almost 100 years. It's your snow shovel. The only thing that really has changed is the materials in which they're made out of until Snow Joe came up with something called the Shovelution, which by the way is one of the best names ever. Yeah, pretty cool. By adding a second spring-loaded handle, you are reducing not only the angle in which you bend your body to pick up snow, but it also works like an active fulcrum in helping you to throw the snow out of the pathway. It makes shoveling easier. Now listen, when I was 18, 20, 21, snow shoveling was not a big deal. I'm at the age, not. yeah, I'm at the age <laughs> where it's a big deal. Let me introduce you to a buddy. This is Sean Pickford. How are Good you, my friend? You. And today, uh, we're going to show you the Shovelution. Coming up later on in the program, we're going to show you what is called an electric shovel. Oh, yeah. So we've got both in the program today to help you out. Uh, this is a great price. I've got it now down to, what, just two colors? Well, actually, four colors. We do have all four. Great. Yeah, we do have all four colors. So we have the platinum, the red, the blue, and the purple. So we kind of stacked them up in the snow there so you can see them. Well, last year, we offered the Shovelution for the first time, and it was 18 inches in width. Right. They made it two inches wider, and you go, two yep. inches, big deal. You know yep. what? It is, because now you can throw snow farther. And this really is better engineering to make snow removal simpler. It, because, as you said, they made it into a fulcrum. So with the traditional shovel, and I happen to have one right here. Right. This is my shovel that I used to have, all right? Look how beat up that is, well, too. And this was a ton of work. Because in order to use this correctly, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the position. Yeah. I'm going to bend, bend my knees so I'm not going to lift up my back. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to have to lean down even further to get the snow to stay on. Right. Then i got to lift and pivot. And that pivot's where you go, uh, mm, things don't feel like they should. Well, this is a ton of work just taking a couple shovelfuls and trying to toss it out of the way. Yeah. So this was a great design in 1950, okay? Yeah, which this, by the way, snow is the one thing that hasn't changed since 1950. It's the same wet, sloppy, heavy stuff. Right. Look at the shovel itself. This is made of ABS plastic, yeah, it's which is the same stuff they make crash helmets and car bumpers out of. Down here is a nice, sharp aluminum blade and that actually helps to cut into the snow. So when I'm using the Shovelution, I'm standing absolutely straight up and down. There is no bending at all to get that in. Then, because I've got a handle here, that assists me, instead of having to do this, I now just pull from there and it picks it up. It also works as a true spring. Take a look at this thing, watch. Yeah. That spring allows it to help you to throw the snow. Yeah, so all you do, simply do is put it in there, yep. toss, put it in there, and I'm standing in a more upright position. So it actually makes the snow feel lighter, even though it is still the same amount of weight, and that's it. Let's show them the physiology of this, can we? Okay. Because it really is quite different. It's different than any other shovel that's out there, and we all still need a shovel. Even if, I'm not trying to be funny, even if it's just to, to carve out the poop path for the puppy, as the first thing that you shovel. You're, you're reducing your actual lift by 40, over 46%. That's almost half. Right, all right. Cutting the workload in half. And you bend your back on average 56 degrees less than a traditional snow shovel. This is one of these things where when I shovel snow with a traditional shovel, yeah. my back tells me the next day that wasn't fun. Well, you know what? I'm a guy who's had you know, ruptured discs. My back tells me right away. Yeah. Here's another one that I thought was really interesting. You throw the snow farther, which means you don't have to shovel it twice. There's our buddy Mike. Yeah, you can see Mike. And there's no exaggeration in these photographs. That's no. how you have to bend to pick up snow with a regular yeah. shovel. With the regular shovel, he's in the right position. He's leaned way over. Yeah. With the shovelution, look how more upright he is. It's a much more comfortable position. Your hands are more comfortable, and the spring assist helps you to throw it further. Again, it makes it feel like it's less weight. Yep. It's not but it makes it feel that way. This was me out here doing the same thing, just showing you how far I had to lean over to be able well, to throw the snow the same You're a little distance. taller than me. Are you at six foot? Oh, I'm 5'11". 5'11". Close enough. Close enough for me to dream. Oh, okay? you 5'10"? No, I'm 5'8". Oh, wow. 5'8 five, five, and a half. So I don't have to bend over as far, but when you've got a bad back, any bending oh. at all is bad. Yeah, here, here's another story. My dad, my dad is in his late 90s. He lives in Indianapolis. And the only way that I could slow him down is to dart him. 
like he's on the Serengeti. <laughs> so they had snow. They had six inches of snow in Indianapolis. And my brother, who lives right behind my father, couldn't get over there until late in the evening. So what, and your dad would do the same thing. What does my dad do? He goes out there with a snow shovel. Yeah. It's like, please, dad. If he's gonna shovel, I want him using something that reduces his workload. Whoa. And that's what this does. Now, this price goes away at the end of today. At $23.10, I'll be honest, it's about three bucks more than a cheap plastic shovel that probably won't make it through the entire winter. Yeah, and it, this guy has a warranty with it, so you don't have to worry about A warranty about it. on a snow shovel? A warranty on a snow How shovel. How long is it? So, three-year warranty. We do it with all our Joe products. A three-year warranty yeah. on a so, snow shovel. And you can see, with this guy here, right. with that blade on the end, I can chop right into the snow. If it's frozen, I can get right in there. So, notice the scoop, too. Look at the side design here. Yeah. It's actually it's a, a bucket. scoop. It's a bucket. It's like the bucket on the front of a, a front-end loader. It's not flat like that other shovel I yeah, had. Yeah, by the way, so, yeah, I do want to show that because that is just stupid. Right. That I mean, really is just a dumb design. So you have to lean that almost all the way over that other shovel yeah. to get the snow to stay on it. Shovelution, it's all about the design. It's all about that spring assist. Because watch, my hands are farther apart here. And as I throw, yep. see how it moves? So when I go to throw, my hands come closer together but it's a more natural motion because of the way this flexes and the way it bends. Uh, you want to go out to the phone lines? Sure. Say hello. I bet Barbara, who lives in Connecticut, knows everything about snow. I'll bet. I would say. Hi, Barbara. How are you? Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? And I do know everything about <laughs> snow. Oh, yeah. I love it. Uh, wait, 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 you say you love it? I love the snow. Barbara, have you ever thought of seeking professional help? Uh, <laughs> my, my family has often thought of that. <laughs> You know what? Now, do you have snow up there in Connecticut? Yes, we do. So yes, it will be do. a white Christmas for you. Yes, we will have a white oh, Christmas. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. oh. Now, I have a snow, Joe, and I just ordered another one. Okay. So I got it when you first came out with them. All right. I absolutely. I, you know, I'm getting older. Not as old as my sister that lives in Vermont. She's older <laughs> than dirt. <laughs> Barbara will be getting However, a phone call from the older this. sister right after the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, she may call in, oh, but I love to play out there in the snow. I love to shovel. I, oh, but as years go on and my back gets weaker and a rotator cuff comes along, oh. I ordered this when it first came out. Yep. And, oh, my God, it is the best thing out there. Oh, it works so well. It's not even like you're lifting and shoveling snow. It yeah. truly is not. And, yep. oh. and that's the thing everybody says. Can it really be different until they try it the first time? And you're like, yeah. wow, it really is different. Because it doesn't, it doesn't look, it, I'll be honest, it looks like a gimmick. Right. And I exactly. said that to that's Sean. what I thought, but I yeah. thought I'd try it anyways. And yep. lo and behold, you came through with this product. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it really does make a, a substantial difference in the amount of, of weight that you feel that you're lifting and throwing. And I offer this to anybody, just try it. Our return policy goes up to the end of January. Oh yeah. There's gonna be a lot of snow in a lot of states by the end of January. Last year they had snow in all 50, 50 states, states, including uh, at the higher evolutions of the, the top of the volcanoes in, in Hawaii. In Hawaii, yeah. So it makes it easier for you, doesn't it, Barbara? It truly does. It's not like you're even throwing it. Yeah, no? yeah. Oh, it, it really, um, uh, I'm a die-hard shopper, but I don't promote things unless I use them and try them. And oh, this is fabulous! Oh, uh, I love it. You can stay out there and you can play in the snow. You can do what you need to do, and I don't come in with that backache and I don't come in with that horrible feeling of oh God, what a job this was. Right. Oh, right. oh it's great. Oh. And I was getting a little worried. I thought, oh, what if something happens to this shovel? Oh, so <laughs> when you came on with them just now, I said, that's it. I'm buying another one just for a backup. Yeah. Well, also, it, it, it's minor, Barbara, but the one that you've got at home is 18 inches in width. This is another two inches. And I know oh, that cool. doesn't sound like a lot, but what it does do is it allows you to move more snow. Scoop a little bit more so, snow. So, so, yeah, so you can get the job done a little easier. Yep. And I love that you call it playing in the snow. That's, it doesn't matter how old we get, Barbara, if we still play, we're young. Yeah, right. exactly. I love this. It's, it's not about the number, it's all about the fun. Yeah, yeah I agree. There you go. Uh, Barbara, Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays to you, your family. Uh, it's right around the corner. Take a big, deep breath and take the time to enjoy it. We wish you the very best of the new year as well. 
thank you so much. Merry Christmas to both of you and everyone at QVC and to my older, older sister up there in Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, She's Barbara. Probably watching, so. Take care. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I like her. <laughs> By the way, you were picking on me. Today, I wasn't thinking. Uh, I, 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 look at I bought shoes. blue shoes. Look at his shoes. They're blue shoes. He brought but, ice skates. But look, but they're brand new. So, yeah, we're out here. And by the way, just, just you know, for the sake of, of honesty here, we don't have snow here in Pennsylvania, at least where we are. I know you probably do up in, in the All right, we had a dusting Poconos. the other day in the Poconos, but that's about it. We, so. we literally had to truck snow in to do these demonstrations. Now, this is called the Snow Joe Jumbo. It's the Shovelution. It is that shovel again, that by using a spring-loaded handle, you now have two hands, but look at how much higher up my hand, this hand yeah, is I mean, right here. I'll, I'll grab the then, other one over there. Then if I had to reach to yeah. lift. That okay. difference Reduces the workload. Right. I mean, I have to leave by forty six percent all the way over to get. It reduces right. the strain on your back. Yeah. In and fact, then I got to take a bigger step to throw it. This yep. is a lot more work than that is. That's for sure. So, so, pardon me. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it your way. Okay. So again, I've got a bad back. I can shovel almost completely vertical without having to do any bending whatsoever. And that little handle with the rub the uh, spring attached now gives you this extra added pressure and fulcrum so that you're not doing half as much work. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a better design. Leave it to Joe, and there is a real Joe to come there up with is. a better idea. Yep. So appropriate lean shovel lution because look, it really is a difference. All you have to do is try this once. You will never use a traditional snow shovel ever again. I agree. I mean, it's just so much better, so much easier. This is a chore, but you know what? You and I aren't out of breath. Ooh. I'm not sweating. I'm not taking layers off. That's of course we're good. not sweating. It's cold out here. Well, you know, normally I'd be like, all right, this? take off the gloves, <laughs> take off. <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to head back in, but then I'm coming back outside and we're going to show you a, another innovation in snow removal from Snow Joe. Our today's special value is an electric shovel. What? Wait till you see that. And there's room in your shed or your garage for both this, this product, the Shovelution, and also the electric shovel. Pat, what do you have? Dano, it is almost a new year and a brand new decade. And what do we always say to ourselves? Well, besides trying to 